You hear mentioned sometimes of the abyss. What it was? What is the abyss? It's a sort of omnipresent thing. It's uh, something that seems to crop up. It's not a, an intellectual pretension. It's not some kind of melodramatic uh, approximation. It's a profound and singular thing. When you're happy, that is a state of mind, but it's not just a mo an emotion in and of itself, quite isolated. Happiness creates secondary feelings, which create thoughts, which create habits of mind, uh, which leads to possible visions for how to live. In other words, an emotion brings about... It is, happiness is an emotion which creates uh, new ideas, it inspires you. It moves you in a certain way. And the abyss is similar, except that it it works in an entire, it, a completely different way. Happiness creates solutions, and it creates the awareness of solutions, and it creates a belief, a faith in solutions, that solutions are meaningful, that you should succeed, that life is quite benign. The abyss does uh, the, the opposite. It just sets you, it, it just pl splatters you into a universe of blackness where there is no light, there is no optimism, then there is no meaning. The, the glass will never be half full. Uh, no, the glass is perennially half empty and destined to become fully empty. And I remember, it happened several times, but I can remember just sitting one day, realising that I had no hope, that I was completely lost. It was complete desolation. And I remember this day just realising how bad everything was, how bad a condition I was in. But it just, it didn't seem like a bad condition, it seemed that this was just the truth. It, it, I had found the truth. This was reality uh, in a raw form. just wandering, just drifting, aimlessly, pointlessly, I had come up against the abyss. It's something that, like, it's almost like a current under the water, that the depression creates this thing. The abyss is somewhere in the darkness, and it's, it will come. And as I say, on this day, I was just sitting at home and I realised this, that just how absolutely alone I was. Throughout all of this, I had been holding on to a hope that something was going to work out, a particular thing in my life. And uh, one day, it became clear that it wasn't going to work out. This hope, this thing that I had been resting on, leaning on, needing and believing in for uh, many years was suddenly swiped away. And I was completely naked. It was certainly the worst thing that I have ever been through. 
many years. My life had been falling apart. And I had been hoping for this one thing. And then when it was taken away, all of this tension, all of this uh, slow brewing acquaintanceship with the abyss, let's say, depression, it suddenly exploded. I just had absolutely... I, I had nothing. Everything is completely empty. There is nothing. There is absolutely nothing. What about tomorrow? How long can I stay sane? If there's... What, am I going to wake up tomorrow mad? Suicide very much seems a, a reasonable thing. So what to say about the abyss? What is the abyss? I like to talk about this sort of thing because I find it fascinating. I think a lot of people don't like to talk about it. You never forget the abyss. You never forget. It never leaves you. You're always aware of uh, this thing that exists. What we're talking about really is the quintessence of nihilism. That's one way to see what is the abyss. That's one way to answer the question. It's the quintessence of nihilism. Now, if you've experienced the abyss, you cannot be casual about it. You cannot joke about it. You can't feel proud of it. And you can't see it as some kind of answer. You can't see it as some kind of antidote to social hypocrisy, to uh, chimeras that people use to sustain civilization. You know that it is not the answer to anything. It's the end of everything. Is there any answer to the abyss? I think I'm not being too dramatic in saying that the only answer I can think of to the abyss is God. In other words, once you've experienced the horror, the reality of nihilism, you will spend the rest of your life finding ways to kid yourself about it, and then those ways will fail and you'll be back in the abyss again. And the only way out of this uh, hopeless situation is to find God. I really hope that I find God one day. But I don't want it to be a delusion. There's another way to put this is that the abyss is the opposite of the divine. It's the equal and extreme opposite of the divine. And in order to counter it, there is only the divine. <laughs> Unfortunately, the divine might be existent, but the abyss certainly exists. <laughs>